I've been enjoying this show from the beginning just mainly because it's giving me exactly what I asked for. Spy stuff, scroll stuff. I know a lot of people are saying, oh my God, the comic book is so much better. That may be true. I think I've mentioned before, I have never read the comic. However, this is a lot of the secret invasion stuff. I meant to read it before we got to the show, but I never really got around to it. This might be way better than the show. However, here's the thing about Marvel. None of the shows, none of the movies follow any story that's in the MCU, whether they're taken from a named story like Civil War or Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity War or Winter Soldier written by Ed Brubaker. It's in C's somewhere or Winter Soldier written by Ed Brubaker that also didn't follow the comics beat by beat. And we love Winter Soldier. So I don't understand what the constant complaint is about, oh, it's not the same as the comics. It doesn't follow the comics because they never have. They, they never have. Help me understand. Where is this expectation for these stories to follow a secret invasion or any other story that's named beat by beat? We've never seen it. All of the stories just have an inspiration of what the main story was. Not to say that everything Marvel does is good because it's not. There's been a lot of hit and misses. However, I think we need to have proper expectations. And I also think that we need to start enjoying things for what they are. Despite what was said in Doctor Strange uh, in the Multiverse of Madness, the MCU is not the 616. So we shouldn't have the expectation that the MCU will follow the 616. Line by line, beat by beat. It just doesn't make sense. On top of the fact that a lot of these characters are way different from the comics, but we've enjoyed the MCU. So what's the problem? Complaining that a story isn't like another story from the comics? Even Iron Man Extremist. Extremist, Extremist, I don't know how you want to pronounce it. That's up to you. I'm gonna let you decide that. You decide how you want to live your life. This story is nothing like what we got in Iron Man 3. Now, I don't particularly like Iron Man 3, but that's not the reason why I don't like it. Following that would have been better, maybe. However, it's not mandatory. Let these writers cook. They've been cooking for 15 years. Stuff recently hasn't been as good, but every franchise has a dip. This is their dip. However, I'm really enjoying Secret Invasion. All right, y'all. So that is it for me. Do I want to pull out any other comics? Oh, and I know it's not the MCU, but Spider-Verse is nothing like Spider-Verse in the comics. Spider-Verse in the comics is way deadlier, way more gory. So, and a thick book. There's a lot going on here. There's nothing in the Spider-Verse movie that's even remotely close to this, other than there being a bunch of Spider-Men in here. I'm going to keep saying it until the cows come home or until the scrolls go home. These stories do not need to be beat for beat. They just need to be entertaining. Now, if you're not entertained by it, that's totally fine. But let's, let's be a little bit more witty with our critiques. Okay. So yeah, that's it for me. I'm off my soapbox now. Am I going to read this? It's a lot. It really is. Like you have Secret Invasion, but the rest of this stuff is tie-ins. And typically I don't read tie-ins, but I was told that the Secret Invasion tie-ins are pretty good. Some of the better tie-ins that you can have. Whew, maybe I'll read this after the show. I'm gonna read it eventually because I got a, out of the 1300 trays that are on this shelf, I think I've only read like 700 of them. I gotta read these at some point to knock these all out. Um, Yeah, so I'll see you guys next time.